So this is hidden Aikijutsu, right? And it has to do with police work a little bit, right? Now, um, like I'm trying to explain, though, mm -hmm. here the person has a gun, right? Okay. That's one of your more volatile situations, right? Suspect. Not much you can do. Now, Sensei Law, I'm not saying is um, doing a bad technique or not, but I know about southpaws and stuff like that, right? Even if they use their right hand, right? That's because they're just going with the foot, right? That one was a good one. Right. Again, yeah, yeah. It, it's all to the outside where he can't attack back, right? Right. So when you go to the outside of his left arm, that's not the problem. It's when you go inside, right, that you totally neglect the left side of the person, right? Right. Finger lock. Finger lock. Walking around the suspect, bringing onto his stomach. You can also place now, right since his first name is Bernie, hand. right, and he's been and training hand in hand Seattle. Hand right. hand. Area. See, that's a better takedown technique, right? Once you apply a finger lock, you have pretty much 100% control of the suspect. Now, the finger lock is a good Now, that's if he's not on drugs, right? Like Angel Dust or PCP, right? Some people don't feel pain. Right? See, that's the problem too. Right? If they're on drugs, you have to handle them usually differently right? than someone not on drugs. She can't do it without breaking his own fingers. Okay. Okay. Okay, here it is. Now, this is dangerous because he tries to go to the Since left the side. Right. Has a weapon from the rear. Turn 360 degrees. Go See, in. it's here. Again, All right, the right. <laughs> That's where he gets exposed to the left hand. Right, going down. Right. And acting like the person can't use their left hand. Right. Well, you're trying to grab my gun. I'm going to try and secure it with the other hand. Right. Right, right. Or hit you with the other hand as you're going to be getting right. Mm -hmm. And all it takes is an uppercut to the gut and you're right. Mm -hmm. Does he want to turn inside or outside? That's not the wrong part, right? 
See here he turns 360. That's good, right? But when he goes to do the wrist turn, right? He goes into the opponent, right? See, the gun is the problem, right? right. But so is the unarmed hand, right? So see, when you go for my gun, and I got a one hand hold on it, right? I'm gonna try to use the other hand, right? To get control of the gun myself, right? I got the left hand free, right? So right here, I can start trying to grab my gun, right? You am trying to grab my hand, right? With the left hand, with the left hand, right? Okay, right. Now, right, what should he do here, right? Kick him, right? Why, why? Kick him in the balls. <laughs> Something to make him, right? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> mean, right? You're, you're close quarter enough to do something to him, right? Before that hand can come into play, right? Yeah, then, right, free him now, right? But is that excess force if he's got a gun and you're in a, and you're a policeman with <clears throat> your hands up in the air? <laughs> right, right. Knee him in the box. <laughs> Right, that the weapon could accidentally be discharged right. at any time. Right, right. Okay.